In the following chapter, we will speak about a strategical motive that comes up uh, a bit later in the game. Because in order to get your rook to the seventh rank, you need to put some effort. You need to find an open file to get the rook there and so on. So usually these situations come a bit later in the game uh, as uh, compared to situations when we are speaking about an open file, for example. Uh, it is very useful to think uh, about the difference between an open file and the seventh rank. There are actually three differences. To um, understand them fully, I would like to focus your attention on the board, and we will have uh, we are having the uh, very nice game between Gatakamsky, who is playing the white pieces, and Oslan Ponomaryov, who is playing the black pieces. Uh, so what are the differences between the 7th rank and a file? Uh, I think that there are three important uh, uh, differences. Okay, white here played rook c7, and as you can see, these pawns are quite vulnerable. Why? Well, the reason is simple and everyone knows that. Uh, it's because uh, there are no pawns on the 8th rank which would be able to cover the 7th rank pawns, and therefore, these pawns lack uh, natural natural uh, protection. So, when you get to a 7th rank with your rook, it's like when a child gets into a candy store and the mom says, okay, you can buy anything you want. Of course, the child is very happy and will probably stuff itself with a lot of candies. Uh, so, that's the good news about the 7th rank. Uh, the bad news is uh, that... Uh, while the open file is by definition open from the first rank till the eighth rank and uh, the rook can move there freely, uh, the seventh rank can be short or can be long. Uh, and that's a huge difference, of course. If you get only a seventh rank, which is like two or three uh, squares um, long, that's not enough to exert some interesting uh, activity, usually. So, uh, quite often, we or the players who are getting to the seventh rank are trying to prolong the rank to give the, the rooks maximum activity. And also, the third difference is that when you are occupying uh, um, an open file, usually the rooks are in the middle of your own army, but on the seventh ranks, rank, the rooks are quite far away from their own army, so they desperately need protection and some kind of support quite often. So in order to be successful on the seventh rank, you need to achieve two things. First of all, it's always nice to prolong the rank so that your rook is uh, more active. And secondly, uh, it's always nice to get a helping hand, to get some kind of a support from some other piece. So let us continue with um, having uh, a look at the game between Kamsky Gata playing with the with the white uh, pieces and Ruslan Ponomaryov playing the the black pieces. After Rook C7, uh, yeah, we probably have to say a few words about the general uh, uh, generally about the position because well, black has got uh, huge problems here already. Um, the reason being that uh, the, the the bishop is very vulnerable on a8. This bishop also lacks uh, lacks natural protection from some pawn. Uh, also, uh, the king is quite abandoned because the queen is on the other side of the board. And even structurally, um, black has got this d5 isolated pawn, whereas white has got a nice uh, a, a nice pawn chain. Which is which is good to uh, like uh, lovely to see it and uh, is also able to block the, the the pawn very nicely. Therefore, Ruslan Ponomaryov tried to get some some desperate counterplay and he played d4. I think it's a very good practical chance because now the bishop can see uh, very far away and simply uh, yeah even if but gives up this this pawn. Uh, it actually enhances his chances. So after bishop d4, black can, for example, give a check 
uh, King H2. And yeah, uh, his chances are a bit, uh, a, a bit higher because of this uh, bishop has uh, turned itself into some kind of active, active piece. So after d4, uh, white has to be um, uh, aggressive. After all, this is a position with opposite colored bishops and uh, the side that is attacking with opposite colored bishops is usually the one which will also have the advantage because when we are attacking with a bishop and uh, your opponent cannot uh, cover the same squares with the bishop uh, because it uh, is working on a different uh, color of, of, um, of squares, then of course uh, you are um, more or less a piece up when attacking. So uh, yeah, this is a very good chance, but uh, Gatakamski uh, was uh, up to the task and he played a lovely move, e6. Um, of course, black cannot take with the rook because there is a mate. Uh, so he has to take uh, sooner or later with, with the pawn because otherwise white plays e takes f7. And yeah, uh, so white played e6, black gave one check, king h2 and f e6. And what happened? If you remember these two rules, we want uh, to prolong the seventh rank. And this is what happened now. The, now the now the rook sees very far away. Sorry for that. Um, and also uh, white now can uh, add another piece uh, to, to the party and can add another piece to the attack. So white now played uh, queen h5 and you can see that um, the harmony of white pieces has increased tremendously at the moment. And yeah, so uh, with this e6 move, uh, Gatakamski has uh, achieved more or less what he needed um, in order to uh, to gain a successful attack along the 7th rank. Now black played knight d6 to, uh, to cover the most sensitive squares, but now the bishop joins the party, bishop d4, so black took on f3. I think that was just a desperate try to sidetrack uh, the white queen somehow, but the white queen wasn't sidetracked at all. After rook g7, king h8, queen h6, Black simply resigned because there are simply too many pieces around around the Black King. Um, e5 is not helping anymore because White has uh, several possibilities how to sort this. The loveliest one is probably Rook e7. After that, Bishop e5 is threatening, and after Rook e7, there is a lovely mate on f8. So as you can see, uh, the uh, the strategy of uh, of the attacking side, uh, which is having a rook on uh, the seventh rank, is no rocket science. If you remember these two rules, please get the rook some help and try to prolong the seventh rank. Uh, I'm sure your attacks will be successful. Let us have a look at uh, another examples in the following video.